Here's the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Khwadash. And double honor the my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Yakim worldwide that are sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Khwadash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 for you all. Stay strong and stay mighty. Yes, yeah, so I'm the brother, the disciple Kosha Banyamin from the branch chain, Great Millstone Barbados. This is a church in Nigeria, an Igbo church in Nigeria, predominantly Israelites, but you know, you rear Hamites out there. But this church is an Igbo church, and you got Esau Edom. And his followers came into that church to spread uh, their message of uh, their message of homosexuality, right? And that it should be accepted. Now I got a book called "Who Is Esau Edom." So this is the book "Who Is Esau Edom." <clears throat> right this is page um 22 straight to the point god's hatred of edom is not temper is not a temporary thing but it's perpetual the doctrine that god loves everyone does not stand up in light of what the bible has to say regarding god's merciless position towards the race of people called edom Although the churches have tried to alter God's true nature, we find that throughout the Bible, God's position towards Esau Edom does not change. <clears throat> there is not one favorable or positive statement in the Bible in relation to Esau Edom. But how does this adverse relationship which God has towards Esau Edom help us to identify who this character is in the world today? To help us answer this, we have to put ourselves into the role which Esau has been assigned in God's script. If God hated you and your ancestors, how would you react? Now, what would you do? By natural reaction, you will be against God and his people and try to prevent them from finding out you are Esau, the one God is against, knowing that if God is against something, so will his followers. Who is it that tries to conceal their identity as Edom, the one hated by the Mosai, by claiming to be Israel, the one loved by the Mosai? Only one group of people react as though God has a hatred for them, that is the Jews. Why do you suppose the Jews form organizations such as the Anti-Defamation League? To monitor and combat hate, quote unquote hate, and to identify quote unquote hate groups. Will not Esau want to do this? Why is it that it is predominantly Jews or Jewish who promote the anti hate laws and other hate crime legislation? If you were Esau Edom, would you not do the same? An Edomite would also want to infiltrate churches. And seminaries to get God's people to believe that there is no God of hate but only a God of love and mercy. The Jews have done just that in Christendom. Yeah. So, who is he? Saw Edom. And just a footnote. 
just a footnote. Historically, the Edomites became known as Jews, a term derived from Judea, which was derived from the name Judah, being the royal line of Israel, though they were never Judah or Israel. Again, merge it with this video here. And uh, in that book, it tells you that uh, they would infiltrate churches and they would push the belief of God loves everybody. And they would basically, they would be uh, anti against, they would be against, because the word anti means they would be against the Mosai, right? We bring in their doctrines, you see? <clears throat> so, what you can do is you can play this video here and let you see uh, the nonsense that um, is being pushed all over the world by these Edomites. And a lot of our people are on the side with them. I just want to bring a precept there. I just want to bring a precept there. I just kind of made mind there. Um, let me find it there quick. Think about the video, <coughs> right? <coughs> it's a lot, kid, man. But the scriptures there. Uh, Second Corinthians six verse fourteen Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion have light with darkness? Right? <clears throat> now this is Amos chapter three and verse six. Um uh, Amos 3 verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Right. So, he saw Edom is bringing darkness. Right? In this world and in these. Right? He, these hard houses. Right? By changing. You see, you can change the laws of man. But when it comes to the laws of the Heavenly Father, no man can change. This because it says one jot or one till. Shall in no way pass from the law. But you got Esau, Edom want to bring this nasty agenda to make it the new norm, right? And there he is, the devil himself in the flesh. There he is, man. There he is. The devil himself. There he is, man. Working wickedness, man. Right? There's Second Thessalonians. Uh, Second Thessalonians. Um, seven. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work you see <laughs> the mystery of iniquity he saw just brings <clears throat> iniquity wherever he goes only he who know let if will let until he be taken out of the way 
and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming the spirit of the Lord's mouth is his true prophets man and that's where they were killed so on the Sunday because you know you 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 couldn't take that light you 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 couldn't take that 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 um you couldn't take that word that truth truth has no place in the heart of wickedness boy you say it says even him who's coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders say exhibit here man See the log will bring division. Division, man. This word, <clears throat> this word, this word is gonna cause the a division, man. You see? This word is gonna cause the a division. You see? Who can stand for the truth or who can take part in righteousness, man? It's just simple and plain, right? Luke 12 51. Suppose ye that I have come to give peace on earth, I tell you near, but rather division. Right. So when this word comes out, first and foremost, which is that true light, it's going to cause division. Some can hear it, and then some will gravitate to it. And they will be in your family members as well. Wait a minute, man. This is, um,. St. Luke 12, verse 52. For I am come. I'm sorry. St. Luke 12, 52. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son. And the son against the father. The mother against the daughter. And the daughter against the mother. The mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Why? Because, again, some will gravitate to the word, some will not gravitate to the word. You see? This word will cause a division.
yeah, so there you have it, man. You know, he so he didn't just causes. He 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 must spread his. You know what, my my what, my favorite precept now, boy. It's um, so there you get shot, shot, man. You know, this is Psalms. Chapter 37 and verse 35. I have seen the wicked in great power. Who is that that is in great power? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He controlling all the earth, man. Right? I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. So his philosophy goes all over the earth, man. Revelation the seventeenth chapter, right? The abomin. If I let me get that there, then shut, man. Revelation seventeen, and verse. Go straight to the point. And five. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. Yeah, great power. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You see that? Abominations of the earth, man. So this is clearly an abomination. The Reverend, this woman is saying here, Reverend, show me where is same sex approved in the Bible. It is not. But you saw Edom again. He adds to the word and he takes away from the word. So he's going to be a serious, serious uh, um transgression when the Lord visits him. <laughs> you 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 might understand that. You 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 can kill us, you can um uh, you can defame us, you can you can lock us up or you can kill us. But you know the word of the Lord endures forever. And you know when the word comes which his name is Yahweh Shah, you know when he comes he's going to judge and condemn you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Do you understand what's about to hit these shores? When our Lord returns, you got a you got a, a set time, Skipper. You got a set time, and Revelation six sixteen. Revelation six fifteen. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every born man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth. <laughs> That sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? So you can go to your different safe locations to escape the coming wrath of the Lamb. But we don't understand is that the wrath of the Lamb is aimed at you, and you cannot escape your judgment, and it will come. Shalom.